Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it seems like every time we have the real cold air in place, there's no moisture or storms to make any snow or snowstorms. So the snow drought continues since December 1st in Providence. Only two inches of snow. Pete Mangione writing up an interesting blog, uh, WPRI.com, about the lack of snow so far this winter. But then again, we still have eight, nine weeks to go, so a lot can change. But there's really no snow or snowstorms in the short term forecast. But it feels like winter. Look at these low temps this morning single digits, three above in Smithfield. And highs today, only 23. It's about 15 degrees below average. Skies are crystal clear, very dry in places like Newport right now, which is coming in at 17, 15 Providence, 10 Smithfield, and 12 is the temperature in Taunton. So another cold night through early tomorrow morning. Now, it does warm up over the weekend, but it's all relative. The weekend's not warm, but the temperatures will start to inch up a little bit tomorrow afternoon, so not as frigid. More so on um, Sunday, near 41, and then close to 50 uh, Monday and Tuesday of next week. Dry stretch for now, no significant precipitation or big storms. Next chance of anything perhaps significant uh, Thursday of next week. Satellite photos crystal clear across New England. Canadian high pressure. This is the high pressure cell that dropped down from northern Canada, brought the outbreak of cold and dry weather. It is modified somewhat. In other words, it's still cold, but it's not as extreme as it was uh, a couple of days ago. And this is keeping our weather dry and keeping the precipitation away. Some thin clouds up here across um, southeast Canada and the Great Lakes. These will move through tomorrow afternoon, so clouds will be on the increase the second half of the day. It may cause the sunshine to be a little hazy the second half of the day. So while it is still very cold across the northeast and the Great Lakes, these numbers are not quite as bad as it was just uh, 24 hours ago. So we get in real close. We'll walk you through the forecast hour by hour starting off this evening. You can follow the time bar right up in here. Clear overnight as temperatures. Hope this moves. There we go. And you can see by tomorrow morning, on average, upper single digits to around 11, 12 degrees. So it's a very cold start. Sunshine gets to work and the clouds start to increase during the afternoon. So it does boost the temperature up a little bit, upper 20s to low 30s. So it's still several degrees below average. Your Saturday night is cool, but not super cold here. 11 o'clock Saturday night, 30 compared to where we've been of late with temperatures near zero. That's a lot better. Tomorrow morning, cold start at sunrise, 11. So the brightest part of the day.